Okay, if Adam's plane traveled at a constant speed of 375 miles per hour for six hours, how far did the plane travel? All right, so this particular question would require the formula of distance equals rate times time. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. Distance equals rate times time. If Adam's plane traveled at a constant speed of 375 miles per hour for six hours, how far did the plane travel? Well, we look at this 375 miles per hour. If I were to rewrite that, that would be 375 over one hour. For some of you, if you want to think differently it, per 60 minutes, that's fine. But the reason I'm going to write it like this is because the definition of rate is a ratio that compares two quantities of different units. This right here is miles, and this is hour. So we know that this is the rate. 375. For six hours, the six hours represents the amount of time traveled. Have you ever sat in a plane traveling from the west coast to the east coast? It's usually around a six hour plane ride. So I know that I'm gonna multiply the six because that's the time. And then the question's asking, how far did the plane travel? How far did it travel? Travel. If you're going to travel somewhere, it's going to require distance. It's going to require getting from point A to point B. Distance is recognized the, uh, a measure of how far you go through space. Basically, if you're going to travel from San Diego to Los Angeles, that's distance. It's not going to happen in just one single bound, unless you're Superman, but you're not. And neither am I, even though I wish I was. So distance, that is the unknown. All right, so let's go ahead and multiply 375 times 6. So 375 times 6 is 3. 5 times 6 is 30. I'm going to put the 0 here. 3. 6 times 7 is, carry the 3 over. 6 times 7 is 42 plus 3 is 5, carry the 4 over because it's 45, 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4 is 22, so then we know that the plane traveled 2,250 miles. I was going to represent that in a model. I would draw a double number line. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I know that for every hour, I'm going to put the top hour in miles traveled. That means for every one hour, I traveled 375 miles. And supposedly, after six hours, I traveled 2,250 miles. So let's double check our work to make sure that we added this all correctly. All right. 375 plus 375. This is going to be the two hours. Five plus five is zero. Actually, t ten. Zero, but carry the one over. Seven plus seven is fourteen. Plus one equals fifteen. Three plus three is six. Plus seven. We know this is seven hundred and fifty. Let's go ahead and add another three seventy five. We know that this represents three hours. Zero plus five is five. Five plus seven is Two, 12, so put the 12, 2 down here, carry the 1 over. 7 plus 3 is 10, plus 1 is 11. That would give us a total of 1,125. Let's go ahead and add another 375. This is representing 4 hours. 5 plus 5 is 10. Put the 0 down here, carry the 1 over. 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 7 is 10. 
carry the 1 over again. 1 plus two, 1 is 2, plus 3 is 5. 1 plus nothing is 1. This equals 1,500. All right, we're almost there. Plus 375. This is going to represent the 5 hours. 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 7 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. 1 plus nothing is 1. This represents 1,875 miles after 5 hours. Let's go ahead and see if we got it right. Plus 375, 6 hours. 5 plus 5 is 10, 0. Carry the 1 over. Four, 7 plus 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Carry the 1 over. 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. Put the 2 right here, carry the 1 over. 1 plus 1 is 2. And... That is the answer, but we're not finished answering yet because I don't have my sentence there. As you can tell, I used up a lot of space. I'm going to create this little box right here, make sure that my teacher understands where my final answer was. How far did the plane travel? The plane traveled 2,250 miles after six hours now if there was any follow-up questions and if they said well how much did it travel in two hours three hours four hours or five hours the beauty about it is i already have all my work set up and i can answer those questions very easily all right hopefully you enjoyed this review of lesson 16 through 22 of our engage new york modules